Hi guys. So, um, this might be triggering to you. Therefore, if it if you think it might trigger you, like seeing like stitches or anything, uh, just click off the video. Um, I got my my mouth work done. So yeah. Um, I look very weird, so just know that. <laughs> I'm trying to preface this video. Hi! Ah! So, I am, well, now it's Thursday, so I'm on day four. Everyone says that day three is, like, the worst, but yes, I mean, yesterday was the worst, as opposed to like the first two days, but it actually wasn't that bad for me. Um, so on Monday, I got 19 teeth taken out of my mouth. And I have these seven here on the bottom left. Um, my surgeon doesn't want me wearing my dentures for two weeks to let my gums properly heal I don't know how I feel about that these are my dentures I can't, can't really see them but this is a little box they gave me and yeah um so I was very very scared as you probably know if you watch any of my videos but if not I have severe anxiety disorders like severe <laughs> um alongside with like agoraphobia I wasn't sure if I could even make it to the office that that morning I was supposed to be there 8 30 I showed up at eight o'clock <laughs> I was like ready to go I was just like let's get this over with honestly um, I went there, went in, I was crying a lot, um, I did IV sedation, so I have my battle wound here, and, um, at first they tried to take, they said they were going to take out all my teeth, and I was like, whoa, it's not what you said before, it's not what the dentist agreed on either um we got that taken care of so i got to keep some of my teeth because these teeth are fine they're not infected they're not decayed and the surgeon looked at them and he was like yeah like they're good so um but my whole all my top teeth are gone and two are missing here and three are missing back here and all I have left are these seven. Um. Honestly, I was not fully asleep the entire time. I kept waking up. But I literally woke up to them crunching and cracking my teeth out. And I thought it was fascinating. I wasn't scared at all by it. I mean, I was so out of it. But I was just laying there, like, I was like, ah, oh, cool. <laughs> um, for a while now, like, over, well over a year, I watch extraction videos, like, full mouth extraction videos. So I could prepare myself mentally. I think that helped because when I heard them cracking my teeth out, it didn't bother me at all. And they also were drilling into my mouth. I was awake for it. It didn't bother me. I was just like... <laughs> there was one time when he got one of my teeth out and it like cracked. I heard the crack and I... And I... I don't know. And I remember I kind of just went... Like, good job. <laughs> ah, it hurts to smile. Um, they drilled in... Where they put the bone grafting 
because in three to four months I will go back to get implants put in, hybrids, um, all on six on the top and we're not sure about the bottom, probably like two and two. So, yay. Um, I go back in two weeks. I go to the dentist in two weeks. So he can make sure my denture fits properly and realign it if it doesn't. And then right after that, I go back to my surgeon. It's right across the street, thank God. And he's going to check out to see if I'm healing properly, especially the bone grafting. And we'll just go from there. So all in all, I did it. I did it. I never thought I would be able to do it. Um, <laughs> honestly, I was like singing the entire time. Every time I wake up, I would just start singing along like to the song that they were playing. Um, apparently when my mom, not my mom, my dad and my friend came in after I was done, I was going like this. In the chair. I don't remember that. I remember the assistant saying to me. Are you not going to sing and dance for us anymore? As I was leaving. Well they had to wheelchair me out to the car. Because I couldn't walk. I was pretty out of it. I hummed with gauze in my mouth. The whole ride home. I was dancing in the back seat. I was just. ah. Uh, for me the scariest part was my mouth. Was being numb. Um, which was my fear. My tongue was numb for about three, three and a half hours. But there was so much gauze in my mouth. I really couldn't focus on it. I was more frustrated than anything. Because I couldn't fucking talk. I kept having to text everyone what I wanted to say. And it was becoming so frustrating. Because... Ah, uh, um, but by hour number four, my lips, like, this, this was what took the longest to come back, feeling-wise. I was fine. Uh, the first 12 hours were pretty rough. My gums were burning and tingling, like, bad, like a stinging sensation. Um... I have bruising here and some swelling. I think I'm managing it okay though. He said that my teeth were actually really easy to get out, which I'm very surprised because I had a lot of roots, like just nubs. But he said that he didn't have to like be aggressive. So he, he said that I shouldn't swell up too bad. And... I passed the day three mark and I didn't really swell up that bad so far. Apparently days three to five are like the worst. And after that, it's kind of like, okay. I think I'm talking all right. I've been practicing talking a lot. Literally the moment I took the gauze out of my mouth finally, I put on a show with subtitles and I was just reading the subtitles out loud. Um, I've been doing good with pain medicine. They didn't prescribe me any pain med- Like, no ibuprofen, 800 milligrams. He said, just take what you want over the counter. Okay. So, I've been doing that. And I finally got my antibiotic on day number- The night of day number two. My pharmacy couldn't get it in because it was- It's a liquid. Because I can't swallow pills. Um, and I wanted to make sure that this would be something I could stay on top of. And I have been. And I finally ate something last night. I haven't been able to eat, really, since Sunday night. I had a popsicle on Monday. <laughs> Two popsicles on Tuesday. With some sherbet. I've been trying to drink those Ensure drinks, but, like, it's kind of hard. 
Um, but tonight, well, last night, whatever, Wednesday night, it's past midnight, I don't know. I had some tuna salad. My dad put it in the food processor, so it was like super, super, super easy to eat. And I had more sherbet. That was my dinner. I'm still hungry, but it's okay. Tomorrow I get to eat warm things finally. Because the first three days, they don't want you to eat anything warm. No warm compress. Like I've been putting ice. I have like a this ice pack that goes all over my face. I look absolutely ridiculous in it too. Um, and I kind of do that off and on throughout the day. Um, see like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but overall, I feel mostly okay. I just feel really sore. That's about it. That's that's really it. My cheeks feel sore. Uh, they busted up my lips a little bit, especially right here. Because they had things that, you know, had my mouth open. The surgery didn't even take as long as it was supposed to. Initially, it was supposed to be an hour and a half. I don't even think it took an hour. So, ayo. Um, my surgeon was so nice and really reassuring. Um, yeah. I think the hardest part is like mentally. Um, I keep having these moments of like, did I make the right decision? And I keep, like, I have periods where I kind of regret it. Because, I mean, I have no teeth. I have stitches all in my mouth. It's hard to talk. I have a lisp. I probably sound weird. It, it feels weird. It It's like a whole new adjustment, you know? And then once I get my dentures put in, it's going to be another whole new adjustment and a whole new routine. But then I'll get the implants in a couple months and then more adjustments. But then I have to think of it this way that like, like my aunt said, you know, if someone has cancer, you give them chemotherapy because they, they need it to survive in my case I had so much infection it really it could have ended up killing me I've been told that for a very long time now and I guess I don't know you know I didn't have a choice I'm 28 and I am now missing most of my teeth I never thought that I would actually be able to do this surgery. Fit, like financially or just like mentally. Like I thought I would always just chicken out. But I did not chicken out. I did it. I guess I'm stronger than I think I am. Um, like I said, mentally it has been the hardest. Because it's like, those were my teeth. I'm never going to get those back. And it's never going to feel the same. And for me, I think like mentally, that's the hardest part. I look at myself and I don't really recognize myself right now. So I've been trying not to look at myself too much. I try not to look inside my mouth too much. It's hard. But I do want to say the pain is really not bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. 
It might get worse tomorrow. I hope not, because I have therapy tomorrow morning. Um, but so far, like, the pain is really, truly, like, in my mouth, very minimal. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe a 2. 3 when I wake up. Like, when I wake up is probably when it hurts the most. But I just take some ibuprofen, and I'm okay. They tried to give me hydrocodone, and I was like, I can't take that, because it, it'll interfere with my uh, clonazepam. They're trying to kill me. Um, honestly, my, my cheeks hurt the most, just because they're sore and swollen. This bruise hurts a lot. My lymph nodes down here kind of hurt. Swollen. My sinuses, right in here, ah, uh, yeah. This is where they drilled in and they put the bone grafting. So like, it's really sore. But other than that, I'm okay. Um, It hurts to laugh or like open my mouth too, too wide. Just cause I'm sore, I'm swollen. It'll, it'll pass. Um, I do, I wanna show, so this was in the parking lot before I was about to go in. This was at 8.26 in the morning. Remember, I had to be there. I had to go in at 8.30. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, so this is me and my friend in the waiting room. And this is me about to get called in. And then I did it. Sorry, blood triggers warning. But this is me humming along to Minnow's uh, Chase. It's a K-pop song. I'm so sorry. Uh, Tomboy, G Idol. I'm sorry. I was so numb. I. So, and then I got home, and I put the face pack on, ice pack on, but I realized that wouldn't help with the swelling, or the numbness, so I took it off. I was very frustrated because, like, I couldn't talk. Um, but, things got better. I can talk now. Um, I've been keeping track of everything. So, like, every time I take ibuprofen or Motrin, or even a little bit of Tylenol, um, the ice pack timings, and then my antibiotics every 12 hours. So, yeah. I'm done for the night. I took all my meds. Now I'm going to go brush my bottom teeth, uh, do a salt water rinse, and probably get some rest because I have to be up kind of early-ish for me because I have therapy at 9 a.m. But yeah, after 10 years of dealing with losing teeth, and decay and so many infections, abscess. And I essentially had, I only had four teeth left on top anyways, really. I did it. It's gone. I'm a survivor. And hopefully it can only get better from here. I'm trying to stay positive. It's really, really hard. Please be nice to me if you're going to comment something. Because I've already beat myself up enough. And I don't need random strangers beating me up. For me, this was a huge thing to do. It was a big decision to make. Honestly, I didn't have, like I said, I didn't have a choice. Um, There was no saving those teeth. They were all pretty much gone anyways. Like, there was nothing to save. So, 
And I don't, this obviously would have never been possible without my aunt paying for it. Um, I'm incredibly grateful. Because now I'll be able to at least get my smile back in a couple weeks. Like, I'll be able to smile without wearing a face mask in public for the first time in years. And I'll be able to eat with no pain for the first time in a very long time. So, and no more, no more gum infections, no more teeth infections, like, and I feel like it's going to help my health too. I know it is. It are like I can, I can already tell that it has. Um, I think it was causing me heart problems. I noticed after it was all done, my heart wasn't beating like it usually would. Like I used to get really bad palpitations, and like it was really. I don't even know how to explain it. My thyroid doctor said I should see a cardiologist because she thought I had tachycardia and I'm on heart medication. I'm on two different heart meds. Um, and I don't know. That kind of went away after my teeth were taken out. And you know that your teeth are directly connected to your heart. Like, so... Hopefully, things will get better. And there's my update. There's my update. I'm sorry I look so shitty. I took a shower today for the first time since Sunday. Or, well, yesterday. Whatever. I took a shower yesterday. But yeah. I feel okay. I have a sore throat, too. Probably from it being open for so long. But everything's okay. And I survived. And I didn't check it out. So, Yay. If I can do that, you guys can do anything as well. Trust me. I never thought in a million years I would be able to go through with this. And I did it. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. So. And it was fine. I didn't, I didn't have any problems. And I don't think I'm afraid to go back and do it again. Like, to be knocked out. I was so scared to be knocked out. It was nothing. Like I said, I kept waking up. And I wasn't even afraid during that. I didn't give a fuck. Again, the worst part for me was just being numb because I don't like being numb. But even then, it wasn't as bad as I had thought it was going to be. All is well. All is good. I'm healing. I'm recovering now. And I think I'm doing the right steps. So that's all. I'm repeating myself. Okay, I hope everyone else is well too, and yeah, I'll see you soon, hopefully with dentures in, with a new smile, not this, because th that looks so bad, <gasps> I shouldn't do that, sorry, I'm not supposed to do that.